you tonight in your school watch district 49 working to rebrand once again, hoping a name change could help bring more teachers and better leadership to the area. New size Lena Howland tracking the possible change that has parents fired up. She joins us live from their administration building. Lena. Well, the district says it wouldn't be much of a change. They're looking to tack on the words Pikes Peak in front of District 49, something they say they wouldn't even have to change this image for. We are Falcon. We are Eastern Plains out here. We're not Pikes Peak. I just don't think the name change is going to give them the success that they're looking for. Many Falcon parents asking the question, why try to fix something that isn't broken? I'm a little disturbed about it, to be honest with you. School District 49 hoping to rebrand based on the view they wake up to every day in order to put them on the map. This proposal is built in part out of our experience when we go outside of Colorado Springs or outside of Colorado. We're trying to help people connect to our real community and our larger region. Chief Education Officer Peter Hilt says it's also a recruiting initiative. I get it completely and it's a good idea. You're trying to recruit really good teachers to make the district better and provide a better education, which Let's face it, everyone is concerned about education. Keep in mind the district already went through a major rebranding three years ago when they took Falcon out of the name altogether. Its legal name is El Paso County School District 49. If we say Falcon District 49, even in the state of Colorado, people can't anchor that to a specific place. Parents think it's not money well spent. We could use this parking lot over here to be paved. Um, if it's my understanding, the teachers have had a very slight raise, not very much. But the school says with the logo staying the same, they don't have much of a price tag to show for it. We'll still be D49, we'll still be District 49, and we'll still use Pikes Peak prominently in our logo. And so all of that kind of sets us up to make this transition with very little cost. And the school board will be discussing this on February 28th. But before that, they want to hear from you. They've put out a community survey and so far they've already received more than a thousand responses in just three days. For a link to that, we have posted it on our News 5 app. Always watching out for you, Falcon, Lena Howland, News 5.